Hey everyone, this is Jonathan from Guitar Player Academy and today we're continuing our Learning to Solo series but today we're working on the third major mode known as the Phrygian Mode. It's a great mode, it's one of my personal favorite tools to utilize and it locks on so many colors that we haven't touched yet. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please like the video. There is parts one through three. This is part four uh, where we go over the fundamentals, we go over the Ionian and the Aeolian scale, and then previously we just hit the Dorian scale. And a lot of this knowledge builds on those past three videos. So I'll put a flag up on the screen, and if you want to check out that playlist, I highly recommend you check that out first before you come to this video. But while you're surfing the channel, you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other new parts or new series that we start here at Guitar Player Academy. So with that being said, let's break down what the Phrygian scale even is. So it is the third major mode. We are in the key of A for demonstration purposes. So if we count up, we go A, B, C sharp. Now, C-sharp Phrygian sounds intimidating, but lucky enough, as guitar players, once we learn the fingering to one Phrygian mode, it's the same everywhere. It's just a pattern, right? So let's break down what we have here. We have C-sharp as our first notes, flat two, which is known as D, flat three, which is E natural, we have four, which is F sharp. We have G sharp as five. A as flat six. B as flat seven. And then C sharp as the octave. So you have one, two, four. One, three, four. One, three, Four. Let's get the G string here. Let's continue. One, three. One, two, four. One. And then same as the low E string here. Two, four. So very, very slowly. We're introducing here the flat two. You noticed if we made it a natural two, very similar, very similar to the Aeolian scale. I base pretty much all of my minor fingerings off the Aeolian scale, and I think of how it changes. So I'm just moving one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Right? So very slowly, we'll go through it through in this position. One, two, three, Four. C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp. really simple. Again, all these notes, we are starting on the C sharp, but every single one of these notes is just, and I mean really, it's just the A major scale, but starting on a new note. That's all it is. That is all, all, all it is. A, B, C sharp, D, E. Look, it's right here. A, B, C sharp, D. You're just starting on a different note. However, you're starting on the third. So when you refer to these notes, like when I say flat two, okay, is D flat two of A? No, it's the four. But when you talk about what mode you're in and say, oh, I'm soloing in Phrygian right now, guess what? It's a flat two. 
right? So I have a backing track here, and we're gonna break down similar to how we did in the last modal video, and we're gonna break down the notes that are really tasty and ones that you definitely want to get off of, right? Let's see. So we'll start at one. Super simple, works. Let's go to flat seven. Great. Very similar to our Aeolian tutorial. One, flat seven wants to go to one. Five and flat six are right next to each other, obviously. Right? Flat seven, you can bend up to one. This is the same. Again, four in this context does a really good job. Right? Here's a note though, here's a danger note. The flat two. You don't want to stick on flat two for very long. It's very much a passing note. Right? But, same thing goes for flat six. Your chord tones are all still the same. One, flat three, and five. Those are all your safe notes. So four wants to go to five, right? But when you're on flat six, it can also go to five. The big one, the big no is flat two. You do not want to rest there. You want to go somewhere else like this. See, run. Flat two, one. That's a great. I love that flat six, five to four. Again, nope, you want to stay. You can use it to your advantage though. The flat two is very, 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 very unstable. You know, it's a half step up from your roots um, in the Phrygian scale. And if you're looking at it from the key of A, you're sitting on the four. Four is not where you want to be, right? So I use it as a great like passing point, maybe a hammer on, right? Just get some extra flavor. You can use it, don't abuse it. Don't sit on it for too long, right? Flat six, it's the same thing that we've been talking about. Uh, you know, when we talked about Aeolian, right? Flat six, you can't sit on flat six. Oh, actually, excuse me, that's flat six right there, right? If we're playing with the track, flat six. Right? It immediately wants you to go somewhere else. Flat three, great option to land on.
right? Another great bend right there. Hear it in country music all the time, all the time, right? And all I'm doing is bending my flat seven, nothing new, up to one. But I'm hitting E, the note E, so flat three. Tagging that four and landing on the key of A, which is our tonic key. Again, you know, flat three of the scale, of the Phrygian scale, is going to be different than what it means in the key of A. Like flat three of Phrygian is actually E, but that's five of Ionian, right? So you want to make sure you know your chord tones in the key that you're playing in. However, also know where that relates to each mode, right? So let's review that fingering one more time. It's just one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, one, two, four, one, and then two, four, two, one, four, two, one, three, one, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, two, one. But that's basically it. That's the Phrygian mode. Again, the big takeaways of the Phrygian mode is you do not you do not want to land on flat two. Flat two is a great tune, is excuse me, a great note to move through when you're playing a tune, right? Again, in the, we are in the key of A there. We are going from A, A, C sharp to D, right? C sharp minor seven, that's that Phrygian mode, that's why it works. However, be very, very cognizant because if you're just sitting on that D natural, man, that's not fun. <laughs> you know, your bandmates are gonna be looking at you like, what, your ears are gonna be ringing, you're, you're gonna know that it's not right because you so badly wanna resolve down to that C sharp, which is the third, the A. But again, it's a great mode. It's a lot of utility if you're moving. Look, fits right there. Moves all the way through. It's just an extension. That's all we're doing is extending our major scale through these mode shapes, right? And, and otherwise, you know, you can look at it like five positions of the major scale here, but you're just extending your, your reach of your major scale by playing through these modal shapes. And then when it's time to play modally, you'll already know the shapes. But that's basically it. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, please like the video. Again, check out the rest of the playlist if you haven't already. And while you're on the channel, make sure you subscribe and let me know what the most helpful mode that we've gone over, either Ionian, Aeolian, we can talk about Phrygian and Dorian, and then even our fundamentals that we talked about, the blues scale, the major pentatonic, right? Going over chord tones, what has been helpful to you guys? So thanks so much for watching. Remember, keep coming back and keep shedding because we want to make you the best guitar player that you can be.